Hey, there's a party here in Agrabah, let's meet the King of Thieves. The wedding of a century, but will it be in Kingdom Hearts 3? Damn, I nailed that. <laughs> Continue on the countdown to Kingdom Hearts 3. Today, what I want to go ahead and talk about is, you know, that good old Agrabah. Will it be making its return to Kingdom Hearts 3 right here, right now? So let's get right to it. Alright, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of split. I feel as though its chances are kind of getting there. Let's talk about why I don't think Agrabah is going to be here. Uh, one of my reasons why I didn't think Agrabah was going to be here, because, like, well, you know, we're doing a whole new seven pure lights or whatever, and seeing as how Jasmine isn't going to be a pure light, even though technically she should still be a pure light, like, the pure light thing, we're still kind of confused, like, can there be more than seven? Did the light from the previous ones just vanish? Which is still kind of confusing, because we do know at the end, like, the princesses were like, oh, hey, Sora, you know, we're going to stay here and, like, you know, guard the darkness or whatever, try to keep it at bay. So clearly they still have their powers going on So I'm not really too sure what to go ahead and think of this But like if Jasmine isn't the seven pure light anymore Then there's really no need to go visit her world which is in Agrabah However though, uh, you know, I mean it's all it depends on how Square Enix wants to do Like would you really want to go ahead and use like the world that Jasmine's in With a princess that doesn't really have any relevance anymore Instead of choosing a new world for a new princess Like Princess and the Frog, um, Brave, or Atlantis you know, see, that's the thing that kind of has me going there, but that's one reason. Number two, I mean, who, who's gonna go over there? Clearly, there's like an organization in basically every single Disney World, and as we all know, a lot of the organization members that are in Disney Worlds have like a personal connection. Marluxia, the crazy manipulator, manipulator nominee, he's in a tangled world. Uh, Larxene, the sister of Strelitzia, possibly, the sisterhood thing, we got that going on there, and on and on, just goes like that. Well, who's gonna go in Agrabah? The only character I can kind of see going into Agrabah would be like like, you know, Xehanort himself, because if we're going to be basing Agrabah off the third movie that they have for Aladdin, which is the King of Thieves, the only thing I could see Xehanort maybe going after would probably be the Oracle, and as we all know, the Oracle can be, you ask it a question, it'll tell you, and maybe he could need, use the Oracle to find the black box. That's the thing that makes the most sense to me. I mean, if Xehanort isn't going to, but, but my thing is that, like, if you put Xehanort in there, like, Xehanort's final boss, I don't think he's going to appear in a random Disney world. I feel as though he would use a henchman for that. So, I mean, maybe Syax, but again, like I said, a lot of these organization members have a deep connection with the world. I don't see what connection he would really have in Agrabah, aside from the fact that he's ridiculously loyal to the organization and just might, might do whatever Xehanort says. But like I said before in a previous video, I think Syax would work really well in the world of Brave because of that shaky relationship that he has with Axel and Merida and her mom have a shaky relationship. The dude looks like a werewolf, so this would be a perfect place. And he, uh, at the final battle in like Kingdom Hearts 2 or whatever, he's like, different names same same fate well actually now that i think about it uh Aladdin and his father do have a shaky relationship, you know, Aladdin, the feeling of abandonment, Syax, the feeling of the abandonment from his friend Axel, uh, oh, oh my god, wait a minute, this, this Syax might actually fit into this world, damn it, I want my brave world, <laughs> really, no, my question is like, you know, who, who's gonna be the organization member to go there, I mean, maybe they don't need an organization member to go there, but, yeah, that's gonna be kind of weird, so, that's one thing. It's mainly because, like, you know, Jasmine was there, and also, who's going to be the organization member? However, though, like, there's a lot of good things pointing that maybe Agrabah will actually make its appearance. Technically, we only got um, Hercules as a returning world, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Winnie the Pooh. Agrabah, let's think about it. You had, you know, you based the first movie off the first game, second movie off Kingdom Hearts 2, and you got one more movie left. This is the trilogy, the conclusion, so you might as well just end it. I recently saw The King of Thieves just in case so I can make this video so I know what the heck's going on there and the King of Thieves like uh, the one of the big things about these Disney worlds is everyone's like oh well you know the environment the environment can't be the same there's one forest area so you got to cancel out all these worlds because they have a forest area Agrabah is a desert area we don't really have that unless you consider the Keyblade graveyard but you know they ain't gonna count the same thing as the same two or whatever so Agrabah would be really unique, not to mention we would have three locations. We'd have Agrabah itself, we would have the location, like the little hideout for the King of Thieves, and of course the Turtle Island thing. I forgot the name of it even though I saw the movie like two days ago. Speaking of like, you know, the palace, like, you know, the environments, we all know Sora loves running, climbing up walls or whatever, so we could totally do that with the palace all around the area. Uh, when we go to the island, we could totally have like the carpet ride thing going. 
dude, this world has so much possibility, so much potential to become grand spanking awesome. And not to mention, there's a lot of good things that we could go in there, like, you know, that friendship with Sora and Aladdin. Not to mention, you know, look at the wedding, the wedding. How cool will it be for Sora and the gang to see the wedding of Aladdin and Jasmine? And one thing that I can totally picture is, like, remember when Jack and Sally were dancing and Sora imagined himself and Kyrie dancing? Ah, he sees the wedding, he imagines him and Kyrie. Oh my god, yo, you know the fans are going to go crazy if they see that. I want to see that happen right over there. Oh, <laughs> no. Fill in my head. Now I want this Agrabah world to come back. Um, not to mention, I wouldn't mind, I've said it multiple times, I would not mind Agrabah coming back only because there's so much they could do with this world. Agrabah was always one of those places that's like, you know, it's the same location, it's the same thing, but clearly with Kingdom Hearts 3, they can go all out. Like, you know, the palace. We've never actually been inside the flipping palace, and the palace is huge. We've never seen Raja, like, you know, Jasmine's uh, pet tiger, the, the Sultan, Jasmine's father. We, we've never even seen the man before. He, like, doesn't exist. There's so many things that we could do to this world that I really wouldn't mind it coming back just because how beautiful this game looks. Like, look at all the stuff that they did for Hercules. Imagine that. But Agrabah, the one thing that I always like to go ahead and point out is I remember when Aladdin was like, yeah, I like to come to, like, this, the streets where all the excitement is, and we literally see a barren wasteland. We see nobody. We got NPCs in this game. So I think Agrabah could really come back strong. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of sick of Agrabah, but like I said, all those times we've been to Agrabah, it's the same location over and over and over again. With this one, at least we would have three big locations. Look at the Hercules world. We got three locations, Thebes, Olympus, and Mount Olympus. Not to mention there was this thing from the um, art book that you get for pre-ordering. They showed like this uh, Heartless and a lot of people are saying that it could be from the, the Aladdin world mainly because his armor piece is kind of gold and you know the King of Thebes is all about that gold. The hand of of uh, Poseidon, I, I don't remember what the name of it was, but it was the golden hand thing. It, it deals with a lot of gold, obviously, the King of Thieves. So that Heartless could be from the Aladdin world, or it could just possibly be a villain from Olympus, like, you know, in the Land of the Gods. Possibly, I don't really know, but that's what a lot of people were speculating. And the more I think about it, it kind of makes sense. Like, to reveal Agrabah this late in the game, why not? It's just Agrabah. We've been to Agrabah. They showed Winnie the Pooh off this late, and I was starting to think that maybe that's going to be the final world, because Winnie the Pooh, that that would be the world that you would show last, where it's like, all right, we did all the main ones. Here, throw Winnie the Pooh. It's a returning world, not that big of a deal. Agrabah could be the same thing. Like, okay, we're late in the game. You know what? Eh, just throw Agrabah. They they've seen Agrabah before. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like Frozen or Big Hero 6. We're going to have these gigantic, huge, monumental events to showcase these brand new Disney worlds. So... I think our chances are pretty high up there. Like I said, they already did the first two movies. You might as well just end it with Kingdom Hearts 3. End it on a high note. Uh, I saw The King of Thieves. Uh, I thought the movie was... It was okay. It was, I didn't think it was like grand spectacular or whatever, but I, I, w I wouldn't mind seeing it at the landscape and everything. Yeah, I could totally see it working for Kingdom Hearts 3. Not to mention that, hey, maybe we'll get that genie summon again, that Link. Yo, oh, good stuff over here. So guys, what I want to know in the comment section below is, you know, what do you think Agrabah? Do you think it will be making its return to Kingdom Hearts 3 based off the King of Thieves? Have you seen the movie? And, you know, do you want Agrabah to come back? If you don't want Agrabah to come back, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't blame you. I mean, it's Agrabah. But with all this new material and the way this game is looking, I think it could work out really, really well. So leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big, big, big thumbs up, as that really helps me out. If you're not already, you can follow me on Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, which is EdTheWiz. Also on Instagram, which is MadSwag12345, where I post all the good stuff. So until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say, Bye, pal! Ha! Huh? I've got a wedding to see!